When we first power on the Turnigy 9X transmitter, immediately we're taken to a default welcome screen. And you can see that by default, the communication mode is set to Healy, which is one of the things that we need to change. But first, let's activate our auxiliary channels because by default, they're not activated. To do that, let's go into, press the menu key and go into our system settings and function settings. Toggle back and forth between the two. Just use the up and down keys on your keypad. For the auxiliary channel, we want to go into function settings, which is the wrench and the screwdriver icon. When that is highlighted, press the menu key to go into the options. Now we're given a list of options. To scroll through those options, we can use our up and down keys on our keypad. So let's scroll down until auxiliary channel is highlighted. To go into the auxiliary channel options, then we press the menu key. And we can see that channel 5 through to channel 9, which is our auxiliary channels, are all set to null by default. We need to change that in order to activate the auxiliary channels. To do that, we can use our plus and minus keys to scroll through our options. We're going to set all of the channels to gear. Once we've got gear selected, we can use the down key to move to channel 6 and set that to gear, the down key to move to channel 7, set that to gear, the down key to move to channel 8, set that to gear, and the down key to move to channel 9, and we'll set that to gear. Now an important thing to remember is if you just press the exit key, it will return you to the previous menu screen, but none of your settings will be saved. In order to save your settings, you have to click or press the menu key, and then you can, it will return you to the previous screen and your settings will be saved. Once we're at the, the, the uh, options for the function settings, we can exit out of there. Now to continue setting up the radio, we'll use our up and down buttons to toggle over to the system settings, which is the transmitter icon. So when you see that this one, the, this one is highlighted, then we can go in and change our system settings. So let's go ahead and do that. To go into our system settings, we press the menu button and right away mode select or mode, mode Selly is highlighted. Well, let's go into there and we'll see that there's a list of all Turnigy names. These are all settings that we can change and give a new name to. By default, you're taken to the second Turnigy setting and that's the one we're going to change and then we're going to copy it over to the first one which is the default and the default is what the radio will set itself to every time you turn it on so for now we can just exit out of here and use the down key on the keypad to go to mode name we're going to give our new setting a new name to enter into the options for this Press the menu key and then you're taken to a screen with a list of characters and a name at the top. We want to change that and for simplicity's sake we're going to name our new settings AAAAA. To scroll through the characters just use your plus or minus key on the keypad and I'm going to scroll down to the character A and then press menu and hold it for a second to change the letter to A. Then press the down key to go to the next character, A, 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 A. 
Now one thing I want to say about this particular screen it seems to be a bit buggy. You can do all of that and press the menu key to save and exit. And even though you do that, sometimes it doesn't actually save and you'll have to come back and do it a second time, which is a bit of a pain. Okay, so once we've changed the name to all A's or whatever your preference is, we'll press the menu key to exit that, exit out of there. And then we'll press the down key on our keypad to go to type Selly or type select. Press our menu button to enter into those options. And here we can see the communication mode of the radio. By default, it's set to heli, which is helicopter. But we want to set it to acro, which is airplane. And that's the only communication mode that the Pixhawk flight controller understands. So once that's highlighted, let's save and exit by pressing the menu button. And then we get the message, please wait. That means that that's been saved. Now we can scroll down to <clears throat> mode VAT. Press the menu button to go into mode VAT. And here we have two options, uh, P PPM or PCM. This is our pulse code modulation. Now the Turnigy radio by default is set to PPM. And the Pixhawk flight controller is supposed to understand PPM signals, but for some reason, and don't ask us the reason why, because we don't know, uh, the radio and the controller won't communicate without the PPM encoder in between. Like I said, I don't know why, but that's been our experience so far. So let's just click on the menu to save and exit out of that. Now we'll use our down key on the keypad to go to stick set. This is where we can set the throttle to the right stick or the left stick. So let's go into that set of options by pressing the menu button and use your down key to select in our in, in this case we're going to set it to mode 2 which will set the throttle to the left hand stick. To save and exit again we press menu and then it asks you the question thro throw reverse or throttle reverse and I don't know why it asks you the question at this screen because there's no options for you to change that you have to go back into your function settings in order to change that so for now we'll just exit out of that by pressing the menu menu key and now we want to copy our new settings over to the default so that when we turn the radio on uh, automatically our new settings um, will be the default. So use your up and down key to go to the last option which is copy. Press menu to enter in to that screen and now we want to use our plus and minus key to toggle through left hand side of the screen and select our new name which didn't save so we'll have to exit out of there I told you it was buggy go back into mode name we'll change that all back to A's once again Hopefully it's saved this time. Go back to copy. And toggle through the left hand side of the screen. There we go. That's the all A's with the airplane. Now the left hand side of the screen is the source. The right hand side of the screen is the target. By default I see that it's mode 1 Turnigy which was the first Turnigy in that list of alternatives. And we want to copy our new settings over to that default. So first we're going to toggle over to the right hand side of the screen using the down key on the keypad. Once that's highlighted, I can press menu and I get the message, please wait. That means that my new settings are now copied over 
to the target, which is the default. Now I can exit out of here and here. And when I go to my welcome screen, we see at the bottom here, it's all A's, which is the new name of our new settings. Now to test that that is indeed our default, I can power off transmitter, turn it back on. And sure enough, by default now, my new settings is what the radio will operate in. Now let me show you how to reverse that throttle. Press our menu key until we're into our system settings and our function settings. We want to go over to function settings. Press menu to enter into the options. And the first one that's highlighted is reverse. That's the one that we want to go into. So press our menu key. And now we're given a list of options. I'm going to scroll down using my down key until THR is highlighted. THR is short form for throttle. And then over on the left hand side of my screen, you'll notice two options, reverse and normal. I want to set it to reverse. And what reverse and normal does is change the direction of your full throttle from either down for full throttle or up for full throttle. Uh, my personal preference is to reverse it. So to save that, I'm going to press the menu key and exit out. When I'm at the previous screen, now I can just exit with the exit key and exit with the exit key once again. One thing that I want to show you though, if you want to ever set the radio transmitter back to uh, original factory settings, you only have to turn off the radio, press and hold the exit button, and then turn the radio back on, and all of your system settings will be restored.